This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. We are continuing to follow a developing story out of City Heights where a man was shot to death early this morning at an apartment complex. Just within the last couple of hours, right in front of our crew, police detained someone in connection with that homicide. The man in question was walking down the street right next to the apartment complex where that shooting happened. And just before nine this morning, police detained him in connection with the homicide from overnight. The lieutenant says they need to do more work before he can fully confirm his involvement, but he was taken away in handcuffs in relation to the murder investigation. Police say the call came in just before 2.30 a.m. When officers arrived, they found the 33-year-old victim down in the apartment courtyard. He was transported to to the hospital where he died. Investigators believe the suspect approached the victim and shot him once. They believe the suspect has a connection to the apartment complex and a possible connection to the victim. At this point, police say it does not appear to be a random shooting. We will continue to follow the story and let you know if the man detained is in fact the suspected shooter. A man accused of breaking into a Linda Vista home and sexually assaulting a five-year-old girl is behind bars. Police say the man captured on a home security camera is in fact Alejandro Confessor. He was arrested Sunday evening just two blocks from the home. Police say Confessor lives in the same neighborhood where the assault took place, but they don't believe he specifically targeted the victim. Confessor faces several sex crime charges as well as burglary and trespassing. Despite his arrest, many neighbors are still shaken. I increased the sensitivity on my uh, cameras from my driveway all the way up until um, the edge of the street. NBC7 spoke with the girl's family last night. They say they're doing okay. They are grateful. Their church and military families who have been showing them a lot of love through this. Confessor will be arraigned tomorrow. If convicted, he could face life in prison. Poway Unified has completed an investigation into its superintendent, who is accused of bullying and intimidating student athletes. Marion Kim Phelps has been on paid administrative leave since February. This all stems from an incident at an awards banquet for Del Norte High School's softball program almost a year ago. Parents say Phelps harassed students for not clapping loudly enough for her own daughter. At their meeting last week, Poway Unified trustees said an independent investigation into the allegations is now complete. They intend to review the report before taking further action. Their next meeting is set for May 9th. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria presented his proposed budget for the next fiscal year to the City Council. The $5.6 billion plan protects some of the city's investments in things like homelessness, building housing and fixing roads. It also avoids major cuts to police, firefighters and lifeguards. However, the city still faces a $137 million deficit. To try to close that gap, the mayor proposed cutting the city's free Wi-Fi program and the Office of Immigrant Affairs. These are not choices that we want to make and we don't make them lightly. But many of these measures and many of these measures cannot be responsibly sustained year after year. But these are prudent and necessary choices to protect the progress that we've made in building back our city and providing the services San Diegans expect. The Budget Review Committee will start going over each of the proposals in depth next week. It will likely undergo some changes based on public input before the final budget is adopted in June. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hi, Sheena. Hey, Monica, as we head through the afternoon today, it's going to be a little bit cooler, especially inland mid 60s. I think we'll see some partial clearing inland, but the clouds could still be a little bit stubborn. They are going to be pretty stubborn at the coast, so mostly cloudy mid 60s, but sunny in the mountains and deserts. Pretty breezy onshore flow there and the onshore flow continues for the rest of the week, which is why we have cool temperatures still in the forecast about the mid 60s through Friday at the coast. Slight rain chance Thursday and Friday. Nothing very heavy in the valleys will stay in the 60s with a rain chance through the end of the week. Thank you, Sheena. San Diego City College is getting creative to give students the resources they need. We'll have a look inside the new on campus barber shop that opened today. Stay with us. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 investigates and responds. One team fighting for you.
Uncovering. Why, why do you always have to go in? You have to. The police have an obligation. Getting answers. What has been the response? Minimal, very minimal. And results. And they said, you have your money back. And I was just overwhelmed. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 investigates and responds. So thank you, thank you, thank you. One team fighting for you. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. The mayor's plan to build San Diego's largest homeless shelter is getting some pushback. Critics say they're worried about both the location and how the city plans to pay for it. No on Kettner! No on Kettner! Mayor Todd Gloria wants to build the shelter at Kettner and Vine across the street from one of the rental car lots near the airport. The plan aims to hold 1,000 people, but the independent budget analyst raised some concerns about the lease yesterday. The city council discussed those issues in closed session. Mayors from California's biggest cities, including San Diego, Mayor Todd Gloria will be heading to the state capitol today. They'll be in Sacramento urging state leaders to continue investments that will help ease the homelessness crisis. Some big city mayors are also expected to recommend level funding for homeless, housing assistance and prevention programs and making the program more permanent. It is a grant program designed to help cities address immediate homeless issues. In the past, it's been used for outreach programs and safe sleeping sites. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20's Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen bringing you the first alert of a tornado warning. If you're just tuning in, this is a tornado warning. This is for this area that you're seeing on the map. Constantly updating you. If you're in this area, make sure you seek shelter, interior hallway or closet. And staying with you until the potential for danger passed. We no longer have the tornado warning that was for East County. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen and the first alert weather team. Coverage you count on. Hi there, I'm ABC 7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today, more clouds around at the coast, especially mid-60s. For the inland valleys, we may see a little partial clearing, but it will be cooler mid-60s with a little breezy onshore wind. Breezy for the mountains and deserts, but sunny there. Overnight tonight, we could see some more patchy drizzle into tomorrow morning. Rest of this week, we stay cool in the 60s for the coast and inland valleys. Slight rain chance Thursday, Friday. Over the weekend, we're drier, and we actually have a little bit of a warming trend. It's going to get pretty windy, though, for the mountains and the deserts. Warming trend. I like the sound of that. Thank you, Sheena. San Diego City College wants their students to be a cut above the rest, so they're getting creative to make sure they have the resources that they need to do that. NBC 7's Andra Stafford takes us inside their new on campus barber shop. I'm here inside the new Fresh Cuts barber shop at San Diego City College. It's a place where students can come get a free haircut and much more. It's described as a place where grooming meets guidance. The barber shop is an intervention to increase the success of our mills on campus. San Diego City College President Dr. Ricky Shabazz says the Fresh Cuts Barbershop is designed to expose their male students, particularly those of color, to the variety of services available to them on campus, from counseling to internships. We've got them for 45 minutes, and we're bringing the services to them instead of making them go to the services in a place that they're accustomed to receiving and advising. The barbershop's always been a dope place to me. Larry Jackson is one of the community barbers who has partnered with City College for the program. They're able to just come in, get a haircut, feel good about yourself. Um, one of the students was able to get a job from one of the haircuts, so it's pretty cool to be able to get back. And they're going to le leave this advising, this counseling session, not only feeling good, but with information that's going to make them a successful student here at San Diego City College. From downtown, I'm Audra Stafford, NBC7. Cool program, right? Funding for that barbershop is based on students being enrolled in financial aid. And although it's specifically for male students, San Diego City College officers offer similar services for female students through their cosmetology department. We have more coverage you count on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.